Welcome back everyone to the channel. A few days ago I did a video on this. This will scan your old 35 millimeter negatives, whatever size they are, and put them onto a digital memory card that's in the back of the machine. This all got started because when I first started looking I had a lot of, a lot of uh, old negatives that I had shot back, because I started shooting in 1983. We've dated these back around to about, our best guess is around December 86, somewhere in there, so that's quite a long time ago. And uh, <clears throat> I had contacted the lab and it was $2.50 per scan and I have hundreds if not thousands of those. So I decided to find a different route because you guys know how I am always trying to save money, bang for your buck, you know how it is. And found this very cool machine. It's a little slow, but it does a good job. Uh, the biggest problem I have are the negatives are over 30 years old. So they're kind of not in the greatest shape, especially the color ones. Even though if you're holding up the color, they look pretty good. When you get them into the machine, they've the negatives have kind of changed to so kind of put it in Photoshop and adjust some of those weird colors that you're getting in there. A lot of yellowish green, they start turning. So it's more on the color. The black and white isn't near as bad and the black and white is a lot easier to fix. It is a very cool little machine. I'll leave a link down below um, so you guys can check it out if you're interested because it really will. The money adds up fast. I mean, just the other night, I took just a few minutes and I scanned, I think it was 29 or 39 negatives. It took me about an hour. But I was also included learning how to use it and so I could probably do it a lot faster than I know how to use it. But if you're looking to scan your negatives, this is the way to go. Be patient, have fun and enjoy it. I had fun going through because I'm fixing to run some slideshow with a girl that I scanned in the other day. She was a model. She was very young when I met her. I was young too. I was probably 15. I had been working at one hour photo lab and she was probably 12. She was modeled for JC Penney's as we got older. You know, I got to doing a lot of her pictures and became friends with her mom and that kind of stuff. So, and I even did her wedding years later. So it's really special to find these negatives. So I'm going to run some of them. So you guys have to forgive some of the uh, the dirt and grime that are on the negatives that scanned. I haven't had a chance to go through and clean them all yet. I've cleaned up one or two really good, but I haven't got to the rest of them all that well yet. Check it out. And this is a chance also, I wanted to look back because I mentioned this is from 1986. So it's about 36 years ago. <laughs> that's a long time. 36 years ago, that's amazing. So I wanted to see what my work looked like from 35, 36 years ago. So I did all the lighting on this. I set everything up. I shot the pictures. Of course, she was already a model, so she knew how to do, she knew how to do a lot of the posing. So that helped me out a lot. Uh, you know, I didn't have to worry about having the poser because she already know how to do all that. You know, it just brings back some old memories. And if you guys or some of you older guys like myself, if you have a lot of older 35 millimeter or 120 film, whatever you've got, and you want to get them scanned, find one of these little machines on Amazon. It's pretty cool. I'm going to leave a link to the one I got. I don't know anything about any of them other than the one I have. And I just bought it on a whim. And uh, it's been fine for me. I can get it up to 22 megapixels, which is plenty fine. And then I put it in Photoshop and go from there. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown of how this little machine works close up. And then I'm going to run a slideshow of the pictures that you see of her. And then we'll so finish. So this it. is the machine that we use to scan the negatives. So as we are, it's just a little machine. You slide the negatives in the side. Film type is black and white. It's 35 millimeter. All right. So as it's black and white. So as I slide the image through, you can see I'm lining up. Like if I want that shot, I just come up to the top and hit the OK button. It will scan it. So now it's put it onto the memory card that's in the back of the machine. So then I just forward on to the next negative and so on. Repeat the process. Pull it out on one side. Make sure you got it lined up just straight. And it's a pretty cool little machine. Uh, it's about $70 or so on Amazon. I'll leave a link below so you can check it out. It works really good and it's much cheaper than paying $2.50 per negative to have scanned from somewhere. So it's a pretty awesome little machine.
so there you go guys there are the pictures just those are just a very very few that i've gotten scanned so far there's so many more but i wanted to go back in time and see what kind of work i did as a photographer 35 plus years ago so i had been shooting three three and a half years somewhere in there so you guys tell me what you think about my work from way in the past and because uh, you can blame me for all of it i did the the lighting she did the posing but i did the lighting and you know all the photography it was all manual back then i think i shot all these probably with by then i was using the canon a1 it was a black body i'd already uh, upgraded from my canon ae1 i don't remember what lens i had on there um of course there's no way to tell nowadays like and you can go into your file information now you can see almost everything but we know about how old they are and i really just want to show you guys and get you guys input on what you think about this little machine if you need to use it let me know if you've been looking for somebody to to scan your slides now you know you can do it yourself and you guys let me know what you think about my work from 35 years ago i've came a long way since then it's kind of cool to go back and look kind of scary too you're like oh my god that was pretty bad but go back check it out and just have fun with it i haven't seen the, this girl's first name is lori i haven't seen her since i photographed her wedding i guess it was maybe i, I might have saw her directly after the wedding dealing with prints and stuff but that's been many 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 years so lori if you're watching the channel contact me i'd love to hear from you we'll have you on the show we'll come in and talk about how we used to shoot pictures but anyway if we're helping you guys out and this episode was a little different you know just something i wanted to share with you guys it probably wasn't too interesting to some of you but you know it, it's kind of cool to go back and look so anyway if you like the video give us a big thumbs up and if we're helping you guys out hit that subscribe button you guys have a great day any questions you have just drop them down at the bottom and i will respond as soon as i can thank you y'all have a good day